Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, coming from the studio in Brooklyn, NYC, and I'm in a great mood. Do you know why? That's right, it's Friday. The weekend is officially here, at least for me, because we're getting things started a little bit earlier. That's right, it's almost 4 o'clock. It's almost time for the markets to close, but it is time right now for me to grab myself a drink. That's right, it's an early edition of Happy Hour in the Big Apple. It's been another seesaw session for stocks as the week comes to an end with investors continuing to track the price of oil and after relatively strong economic reports. Now let's first begin with those reports, shall we? October retail sales rising 0.3% above expectations while consumer confidence that jumped in November. Meanwhile, investors, they're still keeping an eye on crude oil prices and crude-related stocks as the week has seen quite the drop-off in price. But this afternoon, there has been a more than 1% rally in oil prices as the week comes to an end. Now, you team that with corporate reports and the U.S. dollar declining against its counterparts, and you have yourself a session, like today, where for every sh seven shares falling, roughly eight rows over at the New York Stock Exchange. Let's now take a look to see how the markets are shaping up to close, not just the session, but the week as well. And lastly, we conclude with Baker Hughes rising after the oil field services provider confirmed discussions with Halliburton and Hertz Global Holdings. The rental car company that fell today after saying that it would restate three years of financial results. So there you have it. Kick back, relax, and I'm going to show you guys something. You know what I'm going to do? I haven't done this in a while because, well, the season's over and they, they pretty much suck. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. But my boys making some moves. Sure. Are the moves questionable? Absolutely. But they're moves nonetheless and hopefully in the right position. Also, the Brooklyn Nets this weekend in Portland tomorrow and the Jets... Thank goodness they have a bye week because they really, really need it. So with that said, grab yourself a drink. Enjoy the weekend. It's going to be freezing in New York City, but I'll stay indoors. And I'll see you guys all on Monday morning. From ModernWallStreet.com saying, let's go Mets. I'm James Swinney.